under the gums. You have to clean it up under here to stop the disease. Particularly if your mother has this problem, you have to make sure that your mouth is really clean all the time. So all the way around, like this. Yeah? And here you can go like this, yeah? so as you're getting in there, and then you do the same all the way around, cleaning up against the teeth. And then all the way around on the bottom. Take a long time to clean your teeth. Just gently like this. You don't have to scrub so much. You just have to do gently, just like this, so as you getting it all the way around. Then you open your mouth up, yeah? And you do all the way around here, like this. And when you get here, you need to also maybe do a little bit like this, a little bit round, you know, like this sort of a movement, so that the bristles of the brush are getting up under the teeth. And then all the way around like that, all the way down here, and then the same on the bottom all the way around and then pay a lot of attention behind here because the saliva gets behind here and it builds up in between the teeth and the gum and this opens it up so as you get disease as well so it's very important that you do it behind these teeth very carefully same thing all the way around there then last thing is on the top of the teeth like this these teeth at the back here yeah? and and if you can get the bristles up as much as you can because these teeth on the back, they need to come out, but until they come out, the, 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 the caries, the rotten part, is, is infecting the rest of your mouth, so you need to keep as clean as possible. So you need to clean all that. So that's it. And then you rinse with some water and you rinse really well, you know? Mm. Like this, yeah? And maybe a couple of times so that you're pushing water between your teeth. And the other thing that is very good, not this one, is this one. It's hydrogen peroxide, 6%. You put one teaspoon in a mug of water like this, and you rinse this around your mouth. This also cleans out all, any little bits of food or anything that are around the gums, because it's the little bits of food that get between the teeth and the gum that cause this gum problem. And you should, if you can, Every time you eat, you should clean your teeth. If you can't clean your teeth, like at lunchtime, you don't have a toothbrush or whatever, then it's good to get some water and make sure that you do this really well several times, you know, so that you're cleaning all of the food that you you know eating that might be stuck around your teeth out, because you have very nice teeth. So it would be nice to keep them nice, a little bit squashed up, but that's because you don't have so much room in your jaw. But um, these last teeth, you need to go and get them taken out. And this one that has the temporary filling in, you only have seven weeks. And you must go back and get that taken out. And if it's causing pain, then you need to go to the dentist again. And where do you live? Do you live here or in Bodo? Or? Uh, I live in here in Simbu, no. a job in Bodo. Okay, so you, could, you know the section, yes. the section has a dental clinic. The very good dental clinic. So you should go there and talk to them and tell them this is what's happened, and then they can arrange to have these get these back teeth taken out and fix this other tooth that's only got the medicine in there at the moment. But at the moment, no drinking. Leave your tongue alone from this. And so just leave it. Don't wash your mouth or anything for a little while. Do you want me to write this down? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, just a minute. So you need one teaspoon of this and a cup of water to do it sweet. Okay? Just one. See this one here we fill? And then this one here, see up here? This is the one that we put temporary filling in. And then this one, this one, this one right up here, and this one right up here. They're, they're, they're the ones that are leaning over, and they're right up against, and because these ones here are pushing down, that's what's making these teeth a little bit crooked. Yeah, so they really need to come out. Now I have to figure out this one. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'll just get something close I can point.
you look in the mirror. This one here, this needs to come out. This one, Doc, we're trying to say, this is the one that has the medicine. This wife that's in there, this is medicine. This is the one that you need to go back to Sechen Clinic, and then they will be able to, but it's very, at the, until it goes hard, you shouldn't touch it or drink anything or anything, and it will take one hour, yeah? And this one up here, this one also has to go. This one we filled, yeah? And then I think there's another one, this one up here. This one. This is also not, and I think this, I think she said this one up here, this one around the corner there. But the, if you go back to section, they'll be able to pay. Okay? Thank you. The other thing is that the 